Governor Greg Abbott could appoint an interim attorney general, though that might be seen as an endorsement for Ken Paxton's removal. Abbott has been silent on the matter so far. He might want to just you know, stand firm for right now uh, and not say anything or do anything. Until the governor makes a decision, Brent Webster will assume the role of Texas's top lawman. Webster ascended to the department's second in command after Paxton fired the whistleblowers who spoke out about the same matters the AG has been impeached for. Honestly, we won't see a change, none whatsoever. I mean, if you want to talk about continuity, Webster's continuity for Paxton. Webster made that case in a memo to the AG's department this weekend, which reads like a resume. The letter touts his own success as well as Paxton's in suing the federal government. It says the state of Texas has had no better elected official than Ken Paxton, defending citizens' rights, fighting for justice, and preserving freedom. Definitely a little braggadocious, if not just outright in your face saying, we're Ken Paxton's shop and we're going to stay that way. It's still not clear when a Senate trial will begin, though it need to be in a special session separate from the one Governor Greg Abbott is expected to call. The question now, will any senators recuse themselves from the role of Paxton's juror? I can tell you this, he probably doesn't want a lot of Republicans uh, to have to recuse themselves. That just makes things worse for him. State Senator Angela Paxson is married to the impeached attorney general, and some politicos have asked whether other senators who might eventually replace Paxton as AG should be allowed to decide his fate. In Dallas, I'm Matt Houston.